Hello and a warm welcome to Federal Special Program Capital Beat. Elections for the Chandigarh mayor was touted as a curtain raiser for 2024 elections because Aam Aadmi Party and Congress, which are part of the India Alliance, had come together to oust BJP, which has been in power for many, many terms. Now, just before the polling was to begin this morning, there was a message that the presiding officer, Anil Masi, was ill and he was hospitalized. And since that time, Aam Aadmi Party and Congress have been accusing BJP of deliberately postponing the polls because they sensed an imminent defeat. That is what Aam Aadmi Party and Congress have been saying. And they're also saying that they will approach the court uh, because this is very, very undemocratic. Now, uh, the, the million dollar question is that has BJP run away from the fight as far as the mayoral elections in Chandigarh are concerned? And have the fault lines between the central and the state leadership of Congress and Aam Aadmi Party been resolved? Because uh, there were a lot of contradictions between the state and the central leadership as far as AAP and Congress were concerned. So all that we will discuss. I'm joined by Raju William, who's a very senior uh, political commentator and journalist joining us from Punjab. Raju, thank you so much for joining. We have Chandra Sutta Dogra, mm -hmm. who's the Aam Aadmi Party supporter. She's joining us from uh, Himachal. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Chandra, for joining. And uh, let me begin with Chandra, uh, of course. Uh, with Chandra, uh, uh, do you see this as a big setback? Uh, for uh, the India Alliance, because this was supposed to be a kind of a curtain raiser for 2024 elections. And now that the elections have been postponed, we do not know when it's going to happen. Uh, does it look like a big setback for India Alliance? Uh, Nilu, firstly, I'd like to just a uh, small correction. I'm not an RMRP party supporter any longer. I am just a journalist, which I used to be earlier. Okay. So um, your question of whether, it, whether the... Uh, whether this uh, thing with the presiding officer is a setback for the Amati party? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Well, I don't think the last, I don't think the last word has been said or recorded on in, in this matter because uh, uh, I mean, there's uh, the party as well as the Congress together. I think they're planning to approach the court and uh, let's see where it uh, takes them. And also, I think, put together, the two of them seem to uh, have a decent uh, majority and they should be able to swing it in the ordinary course of events. However, if those course of events, which uh, in, in any other normal election would uh, take place, if those are not allowed to happen, or there is some tinkering, or there is some foul play, as these, both these parties are alleging, uh, then we really don't know where it could go. So I think it's too early to say whether it's a setback or it's not a setback because what we've seen in the past is that whenever it seems that the Amati party is on the mat for something or the other, uh, whether it is uh, their MP in the Rajya Sabha who's been thrown out and uh, and 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 also their uh, uh, position in Delhi, so they had gone to the court so often and they managed to get relief from there. So let's see where this takes them. I think we should wait and watch. Okay, so you're wanting to wait and watch. Uh, Raju, if I may come to you now, what exactly happened? Just uh, about when the, 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 the polling was to begin, there was a message on the WhatsApp groups, that's what I'm told, uh, saying that the presiding officer was ill and that's why the elections were postponed. Now, was that a good enough reason? And uh, how have both the political parties, uh, I mean, the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party taken this? Uh, Nilo, uh... See, uh, the, the positions which uh, Ahmadi Party in Congress as, as a partners of India Alliance have taken vis-a-vis -vis BJP. So it's, 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 a, it's a hardly surprising, you know, that they wouldn't, uh, you know, brand this kind of a sudden development, the presiding officer falling sick as a kind of a ploy to postpone. It's not natural. It's expected of them to, you know, uh, say like this, right? But at the same time, we cannot rule out, you know, it, it, it can't be a just, a, it, it can be just a coincidence also. The person, you know, they have policy because these days, you know, it's extreme cold out here in uh, plains, right? Chandigarh and uh, uh, Punjab, Haryana, right? So it's hardly surprising anybody taking care of it, right? So having said that, uh, what I believe is that uh, this development, 
presiding officer having fallen sick. This has given BJP time, right, to, to do some kind of a manipulation and maneuvering, right? Because given the numbers, but right, it's a Amadmi Party and Congress Alliance is a clear cut winner with the 20 uh, councillors, uh, you know, they claim they are on their side. Right? And in the house of 35, and where right. uh, one is ex officio, Kiran Kher, she is a, a BJP MP from there. Right. right. So, what BJP needs is the four, four uh, councillors to its side. Right. And we have seen, you know, since uh, the general house election, December 21, and there have been two elections to the mayoral posts, all the three posts of mayor, deputy mayor, and the senior deputy mayor, they have gone to. Speaking. And one thing I was because, wanting because... to ask you, Raju, uh, one thing which I was wanting to ask you, I was listening to what Pavan Kumar Bansal said yesterday. And uh, he said that apparently some kind of an Operation Lotus was under play. This is what he hinted at. And just for the information of the viewers, there is a 36-member house where BJP has 14 councillors, Aam Aadmi Party has 13, Congress 7, and Shiromani Akali Dal has one councillor. Now, that's what uh, the, the breakup of the, the parties looks like. But uh, how far are these allegations true uh, that, you know, there was some kind of an effort uh, on the part of the BJP, uh, allegedly, of an Operation Lotus? Uh, were they trying to wean away uh, the councillors on their side? Uh, you know, so to say, the... That because, like I already already commented, you know, if BJP uh, uh, want to continue with the, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, oh, having a whole team, right? It's it's a uh, uh, you know, be control over the, the municipal corporation. They have to have their mayor and the mayoral team again elected. But since the situation is different now, the equations have, uh, have, uh, have gone different because the Congress is now siding the Congress which had been abstaining earlier for two years, for the two sessions, and by virtue of that, BJP could have its, you know, uh, mayor elected, a deputy senior mayor elected, right? But this time, this is different. For that, to beat that combination of 20, because uh, otherwise BJP doesn't have more than uh, 15 uh, to its side, if we include the ex officio uh, member also, ex officio vote also, right? So in that case, in that case, Amadi Party and Congress Alliance is a clear winner. And there is only one situation in which BJP can be there, can happen, and that is by effecting defection from, uh, you know, uh, India, uh, there's a Amadi Party and uh, the, the Congress uh, councillors. We have seen that last two years, there have been defection from Amadi Party and from the B uh, Congress to the BJP. BJP's strength has increased now, right? And what I have been told by my sources now at play here in Chandigarh, right, sources uh, within the, from within the party, they say that we are going to get our, you know, mere elected. The reason the political prestige is at stake. Hmm. Since, you know, Radham Chadda, I, I would say that was a, a kind of a mature thing on his part to boast that with the beginning of uh, Chandigarh mayoral uh, uh, alliance of Amadi party and, you know, it's the beginning of the, uh, you know, the India alliance of victory, three, right? I believe that, that, that has alerted the BJP and now they wouldn't want at any cost to let this happen and succeed and the India Alliance the people uh, go to the media and to the people saying that they have defeated BJP, right? And it has got, if the outcome of this it certainly has got a bearing on uh, the fate of uh, India Alliance as well as the BJP. Because that is going to be very hot topic in the, on the television debates and uh, the media and otherwise the uh, informal discussion, right? And at the same time, this also going to have a very strong bearing on whether there will be, you know, alliance uh, of Amami Party and, and Congress, Congress in Punjab. Yeah. In fact, I was coming to this, but before uh, I come to that question, Chandra, uh, I would want to ask you that uh, uh, what kind of a challenge is it for Congress and Amadmi Party now to keep their flock together? 
uh, given the fact that defections have happened in the past, uh, what kind of a challenge is it? Of course, Raghav Chadha and Pavan Kumar Bansal will ensure and uh, they will try and do that. But uh, what is the guarantee? Do, do we have a 100% guarantee the defections will not happen? See, in our politics, there's never a 100% guarantee about defections because this is a this can this can happen any time. Now, if we just look at the numbers, the BJP and the uh, Akali Dal, along with their one MP, uh, one MP vote also goes to them. Uh, they are they are at 16, and the Aadmi Party and the Congress they have 20 seats. So it is just a question of four, four to five. Four to, to engineer four to five defections may not be that difficult uh, for a very determined political party, and uh, and it's not as if the Congress and the AAP are not uh, aware of this, and I'm sure they are working overtime to keep their flock together. Uh, but you can never underestimate the other side because our politics is such. So, uh, which is why I said that the next few days are crucial, and uh, we need to wait and watch and see which way the wind is blowing. Right. But uh, 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 given the fate of, uh, you know, the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, I was reading uh, uh, Pratap Singh Bajwa's uh, statement, Raju, uh, where he said that, you know, uh, he was trying to target uh, uh, Aam Aadmi Party, saying that, you know, Bhagwant Man's uh, government is almost like a Hitler uh, government. He said that he should remove the pictures of Ambedkar and Bhagat Singh and try and replace it with the pictures of Adolf Hitler. Now, these are the kind of comments which mm -hmm. came. Now, what is happening as far as the relationship between Aam Aadmi Party and Congress are concerned in Punjab? There, there looks like some kind of a contradiction between the central leadership and the state leadership. But Aap Singh Bajwa doesn't look very happy with this uh, alliance between Congress and Ahmadi Party. Uh, it is uh, certainly not cordial at all, right? And uh, you know, you know, quite often they have stooped to the level uh, which 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 is unbecoming of uh, a political discourse, right? Uh, that is why I believe, you know, that uh, they, they, they are not going to have, you know, alliance, right? And uh, if, you know, this alliance candidate get candidates or team, mayoral team gets defeated, then certainly there is not going to be a, a pact between Congress and Amam Party, at least in Punjab. I'm not talking about Delhi. No, but are you are you, the, about, no, but are you hinting at the fact that there might be forces within the state leadership which will try and derail this election? Already, already a little position with the Congress unit of Punjab, barring Mr. Navjot Singh Sidhu, right? They are unanimous that they don't want to do any truck with Congress, uh, with, with Amadi party. Given that situation, they will get an excuse well, that this is not uh, if it's defeated in uh, Chandigarh, right? This is this is not going to work here in Punjab. They can tell it means the the high command about that. So let us you know go our own way and fight elections alone in Punjab to the leadership, Punjab leadership. At the same time, I I think that uh, you know the the kind of indication we are getting from within Amadmi Party that the their Delhi leadership, you may call it the. Amadi Party High Command and the Punjab leadership, you know, uh, which is spearheaded by Mr. Bhagwan Singh Iman, who is also the president of Punjab uh, AAP unit, right? They they are giving indications, to a very strong indication that they are not on the same page. Because Bhagwan Man, he has got, you know, far better reading of the ground situation in Punjab. He knows Punjab, which the Delhi people do not. Right? And there is, uh, there's, I don't think there is a, there's a, a convergence of the political interest also. The Delhi guys, the Amadi Party guys, they want at the expense of Punjab to flourish in the rest of the country. But for that, already the Vartman government is drawing flag here from the opposition and the people that, because this is the society of Punjab, you know, right? You know, they don't want to be remotely controlled. And that, that's been the undoing of Congress party in the past also. What the high command says, there's, you know, you know this is Navjot Sindhu and Captain Navjot Singh episode, it, it's, uh, I need not uh, repeat it. That's a very one interesting, uh, you know, uh, insight is that, you know, why BJP will go all out to 
effect defections and have their mayor in Chandigarh for one reason, they want to show it to the people, the rest of the country, that Congress party, Ahmadmi party, or particularly Congress party, they are very vulnerable. They are very fragile. Don't trust them. If even if you vote for them, they might defect. Right. So this kind of a message they would uh, want to convey by, you know, uh, upsetting, you right. know, the uh, India Alliance calculation there in Chandigarh also, the mayoral election. Right. So the, yes. which brings me, uh, what you were saying, which brings me to the question, uh, Chandra, that is Chandigarh mayoral poll the biggest test of India Alliance? Uh, Absolutely. Where, where uh, you know, voters will be tested, whether the Alliance partners can get, at, get along well, whether the central, whether there can be any convergence between the central leadership and the state leadership of the, of the, uh, the, the Alliance partners. Is this one of the biggest tests before uh, 2024 polls, as far as India Alliance is concerned? See, I don't really agree with what Rajiji is saying because I think, uh, firstly, that it's not a test in the sense that this is not an election. The election has already happened in, in, in the Chandigarh Municipal Corporation. This is just adjustment, uh, which the two parties have arrived at a, at, at a common minimum uh, program so, uh, sort of that, well, one party will have the mayor, which is the Amadi party. And uh, the Congress will have two deputy mayors. So that agreement is already in place. There is no question of now uh, we come to the other thing of defections. Uh, 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 where can the defections take place? Defections can take place from both parties. Uh, the Amati party as well as the Congress councillors, both are equally vulnerable. So it's it's a little unfair to say that, well, uh, Amadi party uh, uh, councillors will defect, and so the Congress can point fingers and say, "Oh well, these are unreliable people." No, no, uh, Chandra. Really what I'm Chandra, what I'm asking is that there are a lot of inherent contradictions as far as the chemistry between the central leadership and the state leadership is concerned. So, is it possible? Is it possible that the state leadership will try and derail this mayoral election just to prove that the chemistry is not working between Congress and Amadi party? Well, that's possible. But then again, what I'm saying is that this is not an election. They could derail the mayoral elections. Okay, for a moment, let's just concede that. But it still doesn't, it has a different dynamic altogether than the Lok Sabha election. And uh, okay. even though... Dynamics is different. You, you are right that the dynamics is different. But in terms of narrative, there will be lots to carry forward. Yeah, but eventually, uh, decisions of seat sharing and alliances are not really dependent on narratives uh, uh, like this. It depends on the ground situation, which both parties would have done their homework. Of course, the Amadmi party feels that it can <coughs> swing a larger number of seats uh, on the strength of their uh, 2022 low, uh, assembly election performance. They have 92 MLAs. And the Congress is going back to the 2019 elections where they won eight Lok Sabha seats and they feel that they are in a stronger position, whatever it might be. Talks on seat sharing are already underway. There is just a dispute over one seat because uh, uh, Punjab has uh, 13 Lok Sabha seats. So if one party, Ahmadi party is saying that we want to contest from seven seats and we will give the Congress six seats, whereas Congress wants four seats. So uh, this is where it is stuck. It's on seat sharing. Now, where whether the state leadership, yes, the state leadership of both Congress as well as the Amati party are against this alliance because there is bitter, bitter rivalry among the cadres of both parties in the state. Now, we've seen in the past, <coughs> whenever the state leadership of any party is opposed to alliances, generally the central leadership prevail uh, uh, in, in most parties. We've seen this in Punjab with the Akali Dal and the BJP also in the previous uh, alliances which they had in previous elections. Uh, the Akali and the BJP, uh, are the, the Carders and talking about the state leadership have always been, uh, you know, locking horns with each other, have not been very cordial relations. But when the order comes from the high command of both the parties, uh, then they fall in line and they have fallen in line and they have contested elections and uh, done reasonably well. So what I'm saying is here also, when it will come to the crunch, 
what the Congress's central leadership says, I think whether it is Pratap Singh Bajwa or any of the others who are opposing, and let me also say this, although we can see that people uh, like Pratap Singh Bajwa and the others, they hog the, uh, the headlines when they oppose and they make uh, sensational statements. However, uh, the Congress MPs, the eight Congress MPs, a large number of them are in favor of the alliance because a lot of them feel that if uh, if the up joins hands uh, with them, uh, they have and they get renominated to their seats. So, uh, so many of them have a chance of getting re-elected. So these signals also reach the central leadership. It's not as if you know it's it's only on the basis of what one or two leaders are making sensational statements. And similarly uh, with the Aam Aadmi Party. <coughs> And also, uh, another uh, thing, the Congress uh, state leadership is opposed uh, to having any kind of truck with the Amadmi Party because the Amadmi Party government in Punjab has registered a series of cases against senior uh, Congress leaders, former ministers, etc. So all of them are very, very cut up with the Amadmi Party and don't want any truck with them. However, as we have seen in the Congress culture, when the uh, when the party high command puts its foot down, then they will generally fall in line. And I haven't, and I don't anticipate anything uh, different happening this time. Same is with the Amatni um, party. Right. Uh, at the most, what I see is, uh, you know, all this is mainly posturing to get more seats, bargaining, uh, making sensational statements, and saying we will contest all thirty seats and we'll win all thirty seats. I think it's, it's it should be put down to posturing because at this moment uh, there are serious discussions going on uh, for seat sharing and every party wants to get the larger share. Right. Okay. So for the concluding comments, I'll go to Raju. Uh, uh, Raju, so what do you really make of uh, this mayoral elections, the way it has panned out? And is it really going to uh, scrutinize uh, the chemistry between our Madmi Party and, Cong uh, and Congress as, um, uh, as far as the India Alliance is concerned? It is really, is it really one of the biggest tests now? How do you see uh, it? Yeah, yeah. Nilu, uh, Nilu, you are absolutely correct. You know, it is the test of India alliance, you know, that, that chemistry between uh, Amadi party and all that. Like, I disagree with uh, uh, Chandra Sutta. Like, she said, this is all for posturing. But posturing has, has need not to be done in public view. <laughs> That's no for posturing. Why? So posturing, you know, th this is all a kind of a weaving, dealing, whatever you're doing, that should be done behind the curtains, not outside. But what we are saying is that both at the solvers of the biggest leaders of both the parties in Congress as well as, they are saying out oh, this is open. This for, it's for the public consumption, right? So they themselves are building a perception that all is not well. Secondly, right? In the case of uh, this, uh, like I said, that it, it is certainly a test. It is certainly a, a test. Then secondly, the bearing. It has got a, a global, uh, sorry, glo uh, a national, uh, you know, uh, perception, right? Field is there with national perception is being created. Secondly, for the test, why do we say, why, why should we say that it's a test? It is because Mr. Raghav Shadda, who is the national leader at Amadi Party Rajya Sabha member of Punjab, he himself has set the bar to that level that it is the victory of India Alliance. So what does it mean? He himself is saying, he himself is putting that to a test. So, Naturally, why wouldn't one uh, expect, you know, the BJP not to respond in the same measure? So they have also made, it a, Raghav, made it a point. But, but, yes. Raghav, but Raju, uh, with Raghav uh -huh. saying this, that this is one of the biggest tests uh, and, you know, uh, uh, India Alliance will oust hmm. BJP. So has Raghav hmm. himself invited troubles by making a statement like this? Yeah, he doesn't know what to say, right? He's a, he's a rank immature in politics, right? Right, it is just by, by, by a stroke of luck that these people have got into the position, right? You know, the kind of, they should, see, you know, you know, uh, okay, anyway, let's, let's uh, get away from this serious kind of a thing, that in Punjab, Amarni Party and Congress Party, I, I know I've spoken to the people of both parties, they say that this is not going to work here in Punjab, they think, 
I'm not talking about, and that's the po a point where they disagree with the respect of uh, their uh, national leadership, right? They say that it, this alliance, if, if at all it comes into being, it will be for a few months, three or four, five months. Then they will be back again to the desert ground situation. Why would why would Bhagwantaman uh, uh, as a seer, right, who is after the Congress, naturally because Congress was the, the incumbent party, right, which is defeated, and Ahmadi party has come into you know power uh, on, the, on this uh, on this uh, issue of uh, corruption. And they are, you know, uh, calling their leaders to vigilance bureau. Cases are being slapped, and they are out on bail right. on corruption. But if, if, if after this, after this is over, when it will be back to the nitty gritty of states administration, Bhagwan Taman can't afford, you know, being targeted in case he takes some action and. You know, that action doesn't result in conviction, he will have to face the blame allegation that he's being soft on Congress. He can't afford in 27, he can't afford to, to right. let uh, uh, blame come on him. So, All this right. is the so prediction. Yeah. Yes, Chandra, I was coming to you only for the concluding comments. Yes, uh, yes, Chandra, he, go ahead. He still hasn't answered, answered. He was digressing to administration and other things. But the crux of the whole thing is that this is not an election. The understanding between the two parties is cemented. So how can we say that this okay. is a test? It doesn't make sense. All it's right. All right. So for a viewer, so for a viewer who is watching the things happening from outside Punjab, it's posturing on one hand. And of course, it is the political dynamics which are playing out between the central leadership and the state leadership of the Congress and the Ahmadmi Party. <laughs> No matter how much we may say, but there are a lot of fault lines which lie underneath and things don't look uh, as simple as they are made out to be. Of course, it is a test for the India Alliance and it would test whether Congress and Ahmadmi Party really can come together. But we'll have to wait and watch when these mayor uh, elections happen. Uh, yes, Raju, very quick. Very quick. Mayor Nick Party, Martin Post comment. The reason, what, what the fe fear of the Congress and Ahmadmi Party is that in case they come together, the direct beneficiary 27 will be Sharomani Akali Dal, which both parties want to see, not okay. get back into the reckoning. All right, That's all right. So we'll, have to, right. so we'll have to wait and watch as to what uh, happens. But of course, Punjab is going to be very interesting in the days to come. Thank you so much, uh, Raju uh, Williams. It was uh, wonderful having you on the program. Chandra, thank you so much uh, for joining. And one appeal to the viewers who are watching this discussion. Subscribe to our channel, send us your feedback, and stay tuned to the Federal. Thank you. Subscribe to The Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.